Hello my dear students I am back again with your value education class Children I know that you all have lots of friends and you share everything with your friends Do you know children that God also wants to be your best friend He also wants to listen to all your activities and how can we talk to god through our prayers god is always ready to listen to your prayers so now children i will tell you a story of a little girl so listen to the story carefully once upon a time there was a little girl her name was diya she was a very sweet girl everybody loved her she was a small cute girl she never disobeyed her parents she loved to play with her friends and brothers she liked to listen to stories she liked to dance she liked to paint and she liked to do study also she was a happy child but diya always asked lots of questions she wanted to know everything she had lots of queries whenever she saw people doing things which she could not understand she always used to ask why so one fine morning she saw her papa her papa was saying something very silently to his own self by closing his eyes and joining his hands diya became confused what is papa doing she thought quickly she ran to her mother and asked mama what is papa doing he is praying diya answered her mother diya asked her papa why are you praying papa Her papa was in the garden. He replied, "I am thanking God because the flowers are so beautiful." Another day, Diya saw her aunt praying. "Why are you praying, auntie?" asked Diya. I am praying for my friend who is sick replied her aunt Later on Diya saw her elder brother praying Why are you praying asked Diya I am praying to be brave answered her brother Another time she saw her uncle praying Why are you praying uncle asked Diya I am praying so I can know the right thing to do said Diya's uncle Diya thought for a while and she became 
confused. She thought, why do people pray? She ran to her mother and asked her, Mama, do you ever pray? Yes, Tia, I pray all the time, her mother replied. Then her mother smiled at her and said, Every day I say a prayer of thanks that you are my daughter. Can I say a prayer too, Mama? asked Dia. Of course, Dia. We can talk to God through our prayers. Dia's mother looked at Dia thoughtfully and asked her, what kind of a prayer you want to say, Dia? A prayer of thanks, said Dia. I am glad to have a mommy like you and a lovely family. So I will thank God for giving me such a lovely family. Dear's mother became very happy and she hugged Dear. So what is the moral of the story children? The moral of the story is we should always pray to God and we should always thank God for what we have. So what is the moral of the story? We should always pray to God and we should always thank God for what we have. So children, what we have learned today? We have learned that we should always pray to God. We can connect to God through our prayers. Do you know children who is God? God is the creator of the world. And he created everything in this world. He created land, seas, rivers, sky, animals, birds, fish, plants, air, light, human being, everything. Whatever you can see, God has created everything. He has created you also. So you, you also... are a beautiful creation of God. So we all are the children of God and God loves us all. So children, God has given us everything we need. So we should always thank Him for that. And how can we talk to him? We can talk to him through prayers. He is always there to listen to you. If you feel sad, then also you can talk to God. And you can ask him to solve your problem and to make you happy. God will make you happy. And do you know children? God loves you the most. 
you children are his best friends so always share your every thought with god and you can ask him anything if your parents relatives or friends are sick you can pray to god and he'll always listen to your prayers if you need anything you can always ask god to fulfill your wishes and if that thing which you are asking from god is good for you you will surely get that from god and in your prayer always ask god to guide you to make you a good child i hope that you all want to be good child yes so you should not do any bad deeds like lying cheating stealing or hurting anyone then god will also become sad he wants his children to be good so always talk to god in prayer thank him for everything you have and the funny thing is you can pray any time god is always with you god wants us to talk to him wherever we are we can pray we can say anything to god so just open your heart and talk to god through prayer and always remember that you should pray for everybody and thank him for giving you such a beautiful life through prayer you can praise god you can ask for forgiveness also if you have done any mistake don't hide that mistake at first talk to god say that you are sorry and you will not repeat that mistake again in your life then you talk to your parents and say sorry to them god is like our parents okay children he always loves us so children always pray to god and always thank him for everything and listen to your parents obey your parents be a good child so what we have learned today children that we should talk to god through our prayers and we can share all our thoughts and problems with god and pray for everybody so who is your best friend children god is our best friend so always talk to him through your prayers okay children so this much for today stay safe stay happy 
listen to your parents and pray to God. Bye-bye children.